So we'll come out of that and we'll see what else we can find. This is a good example of guts as well. Yeah, I like that one. Interesting. What have we got there? What have we got here? What is the guts of this thing? One way to find out. Gonna have a look at that and this and just to get an idea of what elements I should be looking for. Wow. That is a lot of chlorine. That is a lot of chlorine. And I don't think we have, doesn't look like we've got sodium in there. Maybe, don't know. No tantalum for sure. What is this one? That is that one here. Don't think that's rhodium. Hmm. This one definitely not tantalum. It's basically phosphorus, sulfur, and chlorine. Okay. Yep. A whole bag of chlorine. Look at that. Really big spike. Look at sodium in there. Does it measure anything useful? About one percent. Just putting it in there to force it. Or is it just seeing the side peak of copper? I don't know. Yeah. Don't think we got it there. Okay, so that's that. There's a little bit of iron creeping in here. Yeah. Not in there, not in there. Bit of nitrogen there. Not in that one. Not in this circular job here. Okay, so we want carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, phosphorus, sulfur, chlorine, copper, but basically, yeah, carbon. Where's the new oxygen? Yeah, I've got oxygen, just nitrogen. Okay, all right. So we want 
carbon, nitrogen, oxygen. What else? Uh, phosphorus, sulfur, chlorine, and copper. That's basically it. And we really only want. Mm, well, leave it like that for the minute. Yeah, definitely, this is a big lump of chlorine type material. Spat out of this structure. Carbon. And chlorine. Copper everywhere, of course. So this one appears to be carbon, chlorine, and nitrogen. With nitrogen and carbon kind of there, and uh, chlorine, well, that's the bit that's exposed to the beam. Fascinating. Not getting a very uh, good contrast on that, because it's very bright. Really be green for chlorine, shouldn't it? 